Hey guys, I got another video for you uh, because I finally started chasing some sand bass. Um, this, I don't want this to sound like a weather report, but if you're familiar with the Dallas and Fort Worth area, it's been raining a lot and all the lakes are really, really high right now. This morning, my son and I decided to go to Ray Roberts and when we got there at five o'clock in the morning, when we got there, the, uh, the boat ramp were closed. So quickly, we rerouted over to another state park because I've got a pass for that. And there's a ranger that meets us, a park ranger that meets us at the gate saying uh, the boat ramp is closed, the day use is closed. So, but he, but he was nice enough to say that or he t told us which boat ramp was open. So I said, okay, so here we go. We're rerouting back towards another boat ramp. And when we got there, um, there was a lot of boats using that boat ramp. But anyway, we got our kayaks in the water and the wind was really, really calm and I, I, I love it. You'll, you'll, you'll see it in the video. We ended up on the other side from the boat ramp so we didn't want to go too far just in case this wind picked up and it did it did later in the day we went over to the other side and the sand bass were chasing uh shad but uh, i'm tired i didn't do an opening i because of the high water i thought we were going to have a bad day and it turned out to be pretty good so check this out i think you'll like it There he is. There's another one. Oh yeah, they're right here. They're going crazy. Ooh, this one's pulling. Uh, good size, Sandy. Yep, he's 10. I'm going to start keeping some of these for sandwiches. Chasing shad in here. in the world two cats no catch
keep watching to see where the school went. That's what I thought. I, I, I think they're headed for that point. Right there, Nick. And they're right there. Right there. Oh, see, I got hit. Mine tends to turn because the fish are on the left. Oh, right here, right here, right here. scare some shad and Oh yeah, they're coming up now. I missed it totally. Totally missed it. I totally missed it, man. I totally... There, 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 there. Man, they're not hitting the Roadrunner. Oh, there, I got him, I got him. moving
these sandbags. I've never done it with the kayak, really. Where are they? Nine feet, ten feet. You hear that? That's way out there. The big ones. I think that was a carp. Why? Well, no, I saw him coming here. Oh, right there. Is that you? Was that you? Probably still here, they're just down below. How many you got now? One. Oh. Got three, but one of them's too small. Right there. Coming up in front of me now. to I had already cast it got him oh. short I'm gonna see if I can, I'm gonna switch over to something else. It's not getting as many hits. I'm gonna try a spoon. Are you trying to spoon?
Yeah, what? I'm kind of jigging up and down. Kind of, I'm kind of just letting it, letting it go, drop down and then pick it up, drop down like this. See, see what I'm doing? I mean, that's how I was catching them last time. They're not, they're just not staying up. smooth oh I see that oh, got him the handle. Yeah, it's on a spoon. Yeah, I went by him. Yeah, he's good size. He doesn't want to measure. Come on, little guy. <laughs> yeah, he's 10. Right here, right here, right here. So they're only about five foot under the under the surface. There's another one surfacing over there. Kind of far away. Mm, I don't think I can get there. Nope. You got it?
<laughs> I know. I, I but I I lost confidence in the Roadrunner. Too many times I went by the by the school and they didn't hit. Yeah, I did. I was, but sometimes you get excited. Sometimes you get excited, and uh, and you miss your cast. One just jump right here. And on the right too. Oh my god. Once you start catch, catching them with a spoon, you'll get a lot of confidence. That's me. Uh, it's a little thick. It's small, but it's thick. It's called a crocodile? Right there. See him? Well, I hope you liked that video. Uh, I know it's been, um, my videos have been far few in between. The weather's been really, really bad. I did go out and catch a bunch of crappie and sand bass in uh, Ray Roberts, but I did not film it. Uh, it was pouring rain and then, uh, and then it was misting. It just never stopped. Uh, so I didn't want to bring the cameras out uh, to, to videos, video that. But uh, they are uh, releasing water from Ray Roberts into Louisville and then Louisville into the Trinity River. So all the lakes are, uh, are overflowed and overflowing. Uh, there's a lot of new brush uh, along the edges, as you can see in, in the video. So um, I can hear things splashing in the in the in the brush. I don't know if maybe that's the carp uh, or the black bass. Uh, you know, I don't know, but I didn't catch a single black bass, even though I I, I threw a crankbait uh, up up around the willows and stuff. So let's see what happens with the um, with the weather, and I'm hoping to do another video with the with the sand bass. Uh, please, I hope the sun stays shining for a while. Because we have had enough rain. Thanks for uh, tuning in. We'll catch you on the uh, on the return to another video. So subscribe, share, and like. Have a great day. And remember, if it jerks, set the hook. Bye.